Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an ellipse by using the rectangular method. As you can see here, we start with the two axes of an ellipse AB and CD, which intersect each other at a center point O. You can draw this ellipse using any distance you like once they intersect each other at the midpoint O. So the first step is to draw the rectangle where the ellipse is going to be inscribed. So firstly, we will draw a parallel horizontal construction line going through the point D, as can be seen here. And now we are going to draw another horizontal construction line going through point C. As seen here. And finally, we will complete the rectangle by drawing parallel lines going through points A and then B. So now we have obtained four new points of the rectangle, which we will name E, F, G and H as shown. So the next step, we are going to divide the line segment EA into as many equal parts as we like using Thales theorem. The more divisions, the more accurate the ellipse will be. So let's divide the line segment EA into five equal parts. First we draw a ray with any angle and starts at point E. After we will choose any given measurement, for example one centimeter in this case, and we will mark it on the ray five times, starting at point E. So now we have to join the final division with point A. And from now on, we will draw parallel line segments to this line that we have just drawn through the previous five divisions, as can be seen here. That's the first one. And now we continue drawing parallel lines to A, going through each of the five divisions, as can be seen. When we have drawn the four lines, we are going to number these new divisions from one to four. And then we are going to repeat this process again using the same number of divisions with the line segment AO. As the line segment AO is longer, I decided to use two centimeter divisions instead of one centimeter, but it doesn't really matter as long as you use the same amount of divisions. We will join the fourth division to point O and now draw parallel lines to these from each of the divisions. obtaining four new divisions in the line segment AO. So now, changing our construction line to a blue color, we are going to draw a line from point D going through point one of the line segment AO and elongating it as shown. So the next step is to join point C with point 1 of the line segment EA where it cuts the previously drawn blue line at a new point which we will call 1 prime and this is going to be a point of the ellipse that we are going to draw. Okay, so where they intersect, this is the first point on, on our ellipse and we're going to continue this process. So drawing a line from point C to point one, as shown here. And now from point D going through point two on the line segment AO,
okay, from point D going through point two and elongating to cut the previously drawn line, we will obtain our second point on the ellipse that we want to draw, which we will call two prime. And we're going to continue this again. Drawing a line from D, going through point three and elongating it. As can be seen here. And again, we're going to draw another line from point C to division three on the line segment EA and where it intersects the previously drawn line. This will be the third point on the ellipse we want to draw, which we will call three prime as shown here. And now finally, our fourth division, we join C to 2.4 and, and again to get our fourth point on the ellipse we will join point D going through division number four until it cuts our previously drawn line to get point four prime. So now we have completed the first quadrant of the ellipse that we want to draw. With, and we have four points of the ellipse, point C, one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, and A. And now we're going to have to repeat this process with the remaining three quadrants. So doing the same process, drawing a line from our array from point F, marking four divisions. We join the last division with A. And we continue drawing parallel lines through the divisions. Okay. So now it's exactly the same process. The video is going to speed up, but it's exactly the same process as, as we've already done. Again, we draw array. We draw from C this time rather than D. And we elongate it through point one. And then we draw another blue line from D. 2.1 and where the two points intersect we get another point which we call one prime on the ellipse and we continue this process as before and we're going to get four new points on the ellipse which again we call one prime two prime three prime and four prime as before only on the bottom side this time Okay, from D to three prime, as you can see here, and where it cuts the previously drawn one is our third prime. So we're going to get another six points on our ellipse that we want to draw. So again, we're going to repeat this process in quadrants three and quadrants four. So finally, we'll have four quadrants with six points in each quadrant, and then we can complete the ellipse that we want to draw. So here we draw a ray from H at any angle. We give it four divisions of one centimeter apart, and we draw parallel lines from each division as seen again. And we do the same thing with point G, draw a ray, and using Thales theorem, we divide it into equal parts, joining the last part to point B, and drawing parallel lines, as shown again. So the last thing we have to do is, again, with our blue lines, we're going to draw a line from point B, So here we see our divisions on our line segment OB and we've speeded up the computer this time. So we're 
doing exactly the same process before we've obtained our final eight points and now to complete the ellipse that we want to draw we can join all the points using a french ruler or by freehand whichever method you prefer just try to use it as you can see here use a darker pencil to complete the drawing okay so thank you i hope this video has helped you please press like and subscribe to our youtube channel until the next time thank you